What's going on guys? So I'm going to be showing you how to hydrate your baby tortoises or your larger tortoises. It works for any size tortoises. Uh, for the larger ones, obviously you just need to, you know, increase the scale a little bit. A lot of people ask me how do you bathe your tortoises. This is pretty much how I do it. For my larger ones, I don't really do it that often, but I'll explain what I do for them when I have to bathe them later on in this video. This is a very simple process. All you need is a tub. This is my baby tortoise enclosure, but you know, you can just get your baby tortoise. You don't need to bring the entire enclosure out here. But what you do is you get your babies and you put them all in here, one by one, just like this. And once you have all your babies in here, you just pour some water all in here. Sometimes I like to put it over them when they're dirty, but for the most part, just right under them is fine. They do like to get hydrated all over. So a little bit on top of them is fine. It's gonna wake them up and it's gonna get them more active and enjoying the water a lot faster so you can see they'll start drinking right away maybe not all at once but a few of them little by little they're all going to start drinking as you can see so here i have some baby sulcata tortoises baby redfoot tortoises and the baby elongated tortoises you can find all these guys on shadowsreptiles.com there's going to be links in the description for everything so make sure you guys check that out if you're interested as well as some supplies that you might need for your baby tortoises or your other reptiles you can find them all on there when they're all in here soaking i just like to put them half in the sun and half in the shade to be honest this container is a little bit small i would like one that's about the same size especially if i have more this is fine but you know half sun half shade if you have just one, this container would be good. If you had this many, one a little bit bigger would be better. That way they have more room to walk around and stuff. But they're only gonna be here for like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna be watching them the entire time, so it's fine. If I were to leave them here, I definitely want something a little bit bigger. That way they have more space in the shade and more space in the sun so that they could go in and out as they please. But pretty much in order to soak your baby tortoises, keep them well hydrated, the best way to do it in my opinion is get a container, you put the water very shallow right under the neck, just like this. You can see their necks are above the water. They're resting. They're not struggling to keep their heads outside of the water. And I'll put them half in the sun and half in the shade. That way they could get some extra UVB and wake up a little bit more. And while they're soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out their enclosures and prepare a meal for them. And the reason why I love these enclosures, I, I already threw away a little bit, but the reason why I love them is because you could easily just dump out everything, clean it out very simply. So they've been here about 10 minutes now. You can tell that the water is a little bit dirty. Honestly, not too bad. It usually gets a lot worse, but uh, they didn't feel like pooping that much today, I guess. And as you can see, we still got the elongated right here drinking a little bit of water. As soon as he's done, we're gonna go ahead and put him back in here. Well, what I like to do is, let's say your tortoise is dirty and you wanna give him a bath. What you would wanna do is soak him, get him wet, right? Let's say he has poop on his shell or it's just dirt. You soak him, get it wet. You put water on top of him. All right, let's say he's dirty on top. You wanna soak everything that's making him dirty. Just get it wet and let it sit for a little bit. And then after a few minutes, when all of the mud or the poop has really soaked up all the water, you just get a little brush. For the babies, you wanna use a toothbrush and you just go gently on the shell, scrub it off very easily. As you go and dip him in the water, just like this, let's say he's dirty down here, scrub it a little bit, then you just dip him like this. If he's still dirty, you can scrub him a little bit more. Now keep in mind, these guys are tortoises. They're kept on mulch. I mean, they're, these guys are being kept on mulch, but if they're outside, they're gonna be on the dirt. They're gonna get dirty and it's natural for them to get dirty. If they're covered in poop, that's a different story. You should wash that off. But if you're worried about the dirt, you're gonna have to constantly be cleaning your tortoises because as you can see, they love the dirt. They love to hide in the substrate. And now the only way to keep them off of the dirt is by either using cypress mulch or just keeping them on hay or grass only. But that's going to be a lot harder when you're trying to keep your tortoises outside. Like I do, I keep them in this large enclosure. And obviously they enjoy this. And dirt is not a bad thing. They actually like to be um, in the dirt. As you can see, they dig themselves down into it a little bit. Redfoots don't like to dig too much, but as you can see, they do kind of like dig their feet into the ground just a little bit and build like kind of little indents in the ground to get into, but not really holes. And I actually just finished writing an article on how to care for redfoot tortoises. I also have one for sulcata tortoises, if you guys are interested. It goes into more detail and it gives you links on what things you need to buy for them. Um, and a lot of other information that you might be interested in. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you click the link in the description. I'm going to put a link for it there. It's going to teach you how to set them up, what to feed them, uh, how to hydrate them and different things like that. I'm working on adding a lot of new things to the website. So if you guys check it out, give a like to it, 
and leave some comments i would highly appreciate it because that way i know that you guys are actually interested and i could go ahead and put out more content for you and here as you can see i have a dirty redfoot tortoise so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i clean them first thing you're gonna need is a hose and like i mentioned first thing you want to do is just get them wet make sure that all that dirt or mud whatever it is soaks and gets nice and wet for them so you can see they do feel their shells so usually when you spray them down like this they do a little dance check that out now redfoot tortoises love water a lot of tortoises do but these guys especially since they're tropical all right so he's pretty wet now so let's close this give him a little scrub as you can see i'm not using soap or anything this brush actually did have a little bit of soap um and if you want to use soap you could use a little bit depending on what it is this is just a little bit of dish soap it's not bad for him or anything but you don't really need soap soap isn't necessary there he is dancing for us there you go should be good enough turn this back on give him a little wash there he is still dancing away and we're gonna wash this out as well because they just dirtied it and we'll talk about that in a second and now as you can see a beautiful clean redfoot tortoise just like that you don't need soap i did have a little bit on the brush but promise you you don't need it now for the baby tortoises you want to do pretty much the same thing except with the brush if you want to clean the underside you can too i don't really care for cleaning his underside but it's going to be the same process just scrub it this is a, an adult so you could do it a lot harder but for the babies you want to be very gentle um if you see that your tortoise is stressed out in any way just go ahead and stop doing it you don't want to over stress them especially if it's going to take you a long time if you're going to be able to clean them really quick and stresses them out for two seconds it's fine but definitely don't want to be stressing them out for longer than a few minutes and the way you'll know if your tortoise is stressed out is if it's wiggling its legs a lot if it's peeing or pooping or if it's just trying to run away from you or hiding in its shell hiding in the shell is honestly not a bad thing if it hides in the shell you could finish off cleaning it and then just let put him back in his enclosure let him do his thing and he'll be good this is what i do for the redfoot tortoises I just use a big plant saucer and fill it up with water. Uh, the water, as you can see, is clean. The bottom of it, over time, it starts getting dark and dirty, so we gotta scrub it really heavy. Uh, we, I don't do that every single day. What I do is change out the water every single day, but right now it's clear, as you can see, so it's not too bad. When it gets dirty, like dark water, that's when I change it out. And then once a week, I'll go in and scrub it really hard, clean it really good, and pretty much that's what I do to maintain their water clean. I used to soak my baby tortoises every single day, and you could definitely do that, but what I've been doing recently is soaking them three times a week, and it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes I'll go ahead and do it more times, but usually it's just those three days. And the other days, what I do is spray them down with this spray. Spraying them down with water or soaking them gets them very active, so I like to do it before feeding. That way they have a better appetite. So what I do is just spray them down like this, usually for about 30 seconds to a minute now i already did this earlier and i already fed them as well so i'm not going to do it again but just for the purpose of this video i'm showing you what i do so i'll just hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute and that's it that's how you keep your baby tortoises or any tortoise hydrated and how you bathe them as well if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments if you liked it make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day